Draymond Green just went on a national podcast with Shaquille O'Neal, my brother, and said that he lost respect for me. These are your brothers, but they never sitting down with you like that. I'm not trying to hear that. I want to get back into the lies, though, because the two things, like Donald was just saying, two players I'm saying teams need to go out there and search for, Aaron Nimhards, you know, Jalen Brunson of the world, Trey Manns. And you need to go find your locker room cancers. The ones that the media lies to you about, because we got Lion A. Smith lying to you about Kyrie Irving. Do you think that Kyrie is worth all of this drama? No, he's not. He's not worth it at all. A matter of fact, um, let me say this straight up and down. I think Kyrie Irving should retire. I think he should announce his retirement today. Clearly, you don't want to play basketball bad enough. by Edwards. We're in the fourth. Doncic back out there. Irving with the ball. Boom, by Mangry. Count it for the 50-50 ball right there. The other way it goes. Pick your time. Pick your spots. Continues to impress. Yes, sir. Kyrie, go! Uh -oh. What a shot! That's Kyrie Irving, y'all. He is to be applauded. I don't have a negative syllable to utter about Kyrie Irving. He has been spectacular. He has been all I ever wanted was the brother. Shut up. <laughs> All right, that was funny. I think he, I think he also recently uh, kind of walked back on some of the vaccine statements or was hypocritical about the vaccine statements because there was somebody that did something vaccinated. So Stephen A. Smith has been on a roll with this weirdo shit that he's been doing because he also attacked B. Soul's guy. Do y'all saw when he attacked Jalen Brown? Or, yeah, Jalen Brown? No, what do you say? So he talks about him not being marketable. Brown. It's not so much that he's underrated. It's that he's just not like well, this quote. I am better than you attitude. He knows it. It's the same reason he is not as marketable as he should be. That's what an NBA source just sent me. I don't know that to be. Brown. Now, we'll say Steve, that wasn't Stephen A's point, though. He was, just, yeah, he, yeah, he was just saying what someone else said. Whether it's an NBA source, his oh, best man. buddy, or anything in between. No, no I, no, I said whether it's an NBA source, his best friend, his mom, or anything. He he allegedly is reading it. I, I, I can only call him a liar so much so in terms of the, the sources. Now, if the source is Notes app, that's tough. <laughs> <laughs> if the, yeah. the source is Notes app, I, psh, damn. I do not care what the janitor in the Celtics building had to say about Jalen Brown being your NBA source. <laughs> That's what I'm say, saying. Like I'm not trying to hear that shit. That nigga, had, he, 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 I feel he believes it. How about that? You're ready. You believe it. I don't think. Nah, it's not that innocent. I'm sorry. And, and that, and that's what. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I agree with what Damo said because I could read a bunch of different things. I, I, I'm on Twitter. NBA Sentinel could send me 90 things. I'm not reading that. I'm not going to read that haphazardously. I'm going to assess who this is. And then also somebody with a platform, make a decision if this is something that I'm supposed to be saying without any credibility to it. What, what is that? And, and, the, and the reality of it, and maybe I got to watch the whole clip, that shit has nothing to do with the underrated conversation. We're, we're talking about play on the court and shit like that. That shit was so weird. Y'all up. I think, what is he talking about? I think I remember the, the context of the clip because this is for some like literally the day after we were talking about who was on the bot account, first take popped over my shit, LFBI agent. So um I think I seen that clip and I want to say it was something about Jalen Brown's underrated. He the answer is no, we just don't talk about him. And it may be marketability tapped in there. I don't know. But I I, I did I didn't feel weird when I watched the full clip, at least. Um, in my personal opinion, though, when we were talking about Kyrie Irving, you guys are onto something there. Um, and I'll drop this information and you guys tell me how you feel because I saw this as well. Apparently, the way he feels about Kyrie is essentially he wishes he was this guy in Boston or in Brooklyn or even with LeBron in Cleveland. And he feels like he's just matured versus uh, walking back. How do you guys feel about that, I guess, is the question. Do you all think Kyrie has really changed as a human being or is he just, you know, finally just not being dunked on for every random quote? To be honest, in Boston, Brooklyn's a little bit different because he was – doing different things, talking about different things there. But in Boston, he was always this guy. And I've been very adamant on that. I think in Boston specifically, 
He was scapegoated to be something he wasn't. There were so many different problems with that team, but just because, one, the the team played better without Kyrie the year prior because he was injured, and two, because of how poorly he played in the playoffs, everyone just blamed the fact that this that team was better without Kyrie, um, that Kyrie's the locker room cancer, so on and so forth, when there were so many different aspects and so many different variables as to why that team failed. And everyone just put it on Kyrie. And then by the time Kyrie was a free agent, and he looked at how the Celtics fans and how that franchise viewed him. And he said, I bet y'all don't even want me. I am going to dip. Now he gets villainized even more for wanting to leave. So for Boston, nah, I think Kyrie has always been this dude. Brooklyn, you know, there, there are more points you can talk to when it, when it comes to uh, the things he posted on Instagram, uh, the, the anti-vaccine quotes and stuff like that, that were like non-basketball shit. To me, the dick suck got uh the the dick suck went too far in Brooklyn when I remember that one weekend he was talking about how like Ky- Kyrie had a couple days off because of men- like mental health shit and he was hanging with his family. Yeah, and yeah, Stephen yeah, A. Smith was. was on him. I remember that. And at this point, it's like, oh my god! So now he can't even now he can't even hang out with like what if that was like someone died personally and he needed some 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 personal days off? You know what I'm saying? So. Nah. I want to I want to give a shout out to the real Isaiah Thomas every time that I get because he he's always a stand up gentleman. I knew it was going to happen when this this clip surfaced and got around and Isaiah Thomas addressed it. But this is what Isaiah Thomas said. I've been a friend, mentor and advisor to Jalen Brown since he was a student at UC Berkeley. He is 100 percent marketable. And before you slander his name, Stephen A. Smith, tell your source to put their name on it or don't speak on it at all. Let it be known. Not that Jaylen, I agree with. Jalen Brown himself echoed the sentiments, and I saw some people on Twitter say things like, I'm I'm all for sources talking about potentially basketball things. When we talk about somebody's character, that's where it draws a line. The NBA playoffs are here, man. There's a lot of money to be made if you play daily fantasy sports. And if you want to get into the action, you guys can use Prize Picks, the sponsor of this podcast, our preferable way to play daily fantasy sports. We will show you how to play the game right now, and it is very, very simple. Just sign up for an account, download their app, go on their website, and make some picks. And if you really know ball, you can win some money. I'm going to go ahead and look down here. Kevin Durant, 36 and a half points plus rebounds plus assists versus the Cleveland Cavaliers. I'm sensing a big game from KD tonight, man. Hit more for me please and then Darius Garland has been letting me down all year and it's just another day of the year hit less for me on the PRA as well for Darius Garland Omar you, you decide how much we put on the entry you gotta risk it to get the biscuit I'm gonna put 210 on there hit place entry and if you use code LKIB price picks will match 100% of your first deposit up to $100 shout out to price picks for sponsoring this video now let's get right back to the content now I think we all know how Stephen A. Smith is gonna respond to this I have no idea what you're talking about, Isaiah Thomas. I've been a fan of Jalen Brown for years, still am. What's unfortunate is that you, who's known me for decades, would choose to go on X to express whatever dissent you feel instead of calling me directly. But I get it. It's a pattern several folks have used uh, versus me recently, suddenly forgetting communication we've always had. So be it. I root for Jalen Brown, always a great dude and player, but the Celtics have to close the deal. Now that, that I don't fuck with, because I don't know if we're going to talk about it, but with the, the Draymond beef situation as well, he pulled the, uh, Draymond, you could have called me if you really had a problem. And I'm just like, yo, all of this is public. You say all of this in public. You know what I'm saying? You're you're outing your sources out in public. So when we want to keep it public, now it's, oh, you could have called me. You could have called, nah, bro, if you started it public, there should be no problem with me. Because specifically, Jalen Brown just quote tweeted it saying, state your sources. He didn't even say he was a clown. He didn't even say he was dumb. He just said, state your source. Who the fuck did this come from? Maybe he just wanted to know. (laughs) But for him to post that that Twitter plus over 360 character ass tweet. All right, Stephen A. Okay. Yeah, I I think it's a little bit uh respectfully a little bit of gaslighting there, and I think now almost borderline manipulation because it's like, bruh, you you can't you can't like hide a source, state their p- public opinion. You can't hide a source, state their personal opinion publicly, somewhat 
in a slanderous way, especially when we're talking about like marketability versus just straight performance. And then simultaneously, when they respond on the internet, be like, well, you could have called gang, you threw the first punch. So, yeah. or even if it wasn't a punch, it, by your by your definition on your account, because I didn't see Jalen Brown tweet, he didn't even punch back. He just said his opinion publicly. Um, yeah, and I, I hate that shit too. We're probably not going to get into it today, but like with uh, Shaquille O'Neal and Kyrie, for example, I know it's kind of a reaching file here, but like Shaq called Re an idiot on television. Now, it'd be crazy if they had to squash that shit offline in hindsight. Granted, that that obviously the mature thing to do, but it's not something that you are obligated to do. And shout out to Kyrie because being said, I love the way he handled that situation. I don't know if you saw the post game. He kind of just like, Added buddy on the back and was like didn't really say it, but like he showed how immature that shit truly was, in my opinion. That's that corny old shit. Um, let me play this clip for because be so brought it up. That, that, that's that's extremely corny. Stephen A. Smith really pissed me off, and the reason he pissed me off because he hit me. He's like, Yo, it's been hard for a lot of us to talk about you these last few days. You know, for me, I'm like, Okay. It's been hard for me to watch, mm. but I'm watching it because I want to see everything that everybody has to say. But the thing that pissed me off is you tell me it's been hard for y'all to talk about me. Stephen, A., anytime I meet someone and they say something about you, it's never like, yo, I like him. He's cool. I always like, man, fuck that dude, he's a character, he's this, he's that. And I always say back, I actually know the guy. The guy is actually a cool dude. You can take what you want from the TV screen, I actually know the guy. He's a cool dude and a real dude and then you get the opportunity to talk about me and listen i know you got a job to do i know you got to do your thing and say what you got to say but at not one point did you say well y'all are saying this person is up and this person need help now i know the person say what you want about the basketball player that's fine but i know the person but to sit back and see those that claim to know and appreciate me as a human being just flow with the narrative because it was easy to do i lost a lot of respect for a lot of people Hold on, and let me so let me show him. Draymond Green just went on a national podcast with Shaquille O'Neal, my brother, and said that he lost respect for me. Well, I've now lost respect for him. Oh my God! I love this brother. <laughs> I got mad love for Draymond Green. Here's the preface. All right, here I we have go. an abundance of receipts where I can show you, and Molly, you can be a testament to this. Okay. How many times have I spoken <laughs> up for Draymond Green? He always wants to show some It's shit. been countless times. This man has been ejected from games 20 times in his career. Only Rashid Wallace, another brother of mine, has been suspend, has been ejected for more games in his NBA career. In a four-month... I'm sorry. They're not sitting down with you like that. I I'm sorry. <laughs> And and he's probably got some more point to it. I could I could, you know, play it or whatever. These are your brothers, but they never sitting down with you like that. This nigga Draymond. He's heating up. Everybody else has every other platform. Stephen A. They sitting down with Shannon, who didn't play football basketball. Shaq, uh, uh, Matt Barnes. Uh, 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 Steven Jackson, the knuckleheads, they're sitting down with Lou Will, they're sitting down with everybody, Jeff Teague, but you. These aren't your brothers. Stop, stop, stop. You are Randall from Recess. You want to be a part of the Cool Kids crew so bad, but you are not, gang. Nobody is, uh, you could have just hit me. I, I don't hit you. I really don't. You're cordial. <laughs> we're, we're cordial because we're in the same places because we got to be. They're not doing this. You're pump faking. Molly can attest. Show Molly. He never does. Stop. I'm done with him. Nah, this is like literally if your man say you scaring the hoes away and your man goes, that's not fair. If the hoes scaring me. Like, bro, I don't, I don't, I don't care. What are we doing? What are we doing right now, bro? I ain't gonna lie. This is crazy, man. Oh, hot take, there is no new media. This is just the uh, old media becoming obsolete and then the new be new media becoming old media. Yeah. Reference, yes, yes. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Oh my god. I'm so I'm just so sick yeah. of Raymond. Yeah, no, I'm gonna think about it. Let it process. Let it process. It's like calling the PS5 from like next gen to current gen. You know what I'm saying? Like 
This is just current gen now. You know, it's just current gen now, man. Yeah, we're done with the Stephen A's. <laughs> Oh, it's just media. It's just not new media. Uh, it's just media. Yeah, yeah. 